And how many of you are at an enterprise right now and you say, I've got no security, so I'm starting from absolutely nothing? See, anybody raising their hands, right? Because that does not exist in the real world, right? You have something in place today, technology-wise, process-wise, people-wise. You have something. So finding ways to leverage that is absolutely key, right? And then helping to do it in an automated way, using your own infrastructure as part of it is key. Then the benefit of this idea of open XDR, where you're bringing together different solutions, right? trying to take advantage of the infrastructure that you already have deployed, stitching together these different technologies, you don't have to rip and replace, right? Can you take advantage of solutions that you already have deployed, processes that you already use? That's absolutely key. And that's why we think there's this idea of open XDR versus single vendor. The other term that um, we've used and others are using is maybe vendor agnostic XDR. So no need to rip and replace, and then again, you're always going to have some disparate tools, right? The goal is to move from having 100 tools to maybe a more manageable set, something that's a little bit easier to get visibility into. You still want a single pane of glass. So whether you're going from 100 tools to five, you don't want to have to do the swivel chairing and go from one tool to another tool and back and forth. It's just not effective, right? You need to be able to detect threats across the entire landscape. You need to have all that data in one, so that centralized visibility, and that's part of the concept of, of OpenXDR.